Chapter 12 Challenging Mission Nitin is a little boy. He is seven years old but has no parents and no home. He has only a dog called Bruzo. Bruzo follows him everywhere all the time. At night, he and Bruzo sleep under the shelter of a bus stop. During the day, he roams around collecting plastic objects and polythene bags from garbage bin. When his bag is full, Nitin takes it to a man called Sedji, who in return for the rags gives him a few rupees. Nitin keeps these rupees in a tin which he had found in one of the bins. He has a dream. He too wants to go to a school like the smartly dressed school children he sees every day. Divya is a little girl. He is also seven years old. Her mother does housework in many homes. Divya washes dishes and sweeps the floor to help her mother. She sees the little girls in these homes going to school. Divya wants to go to school just like other girls. Children, do you know that all of you are entitled to a safe home, good health, care, education, love and opportunities? These are the basic rights of a child recognized by the United Nations. Unfortunately, there are many children like Nitin and Divya in India and the world over who do not enjoy these rights. We see these children all around us picking rags, working at hotels and dhabas, working as truck and bus cleaners and even employed in homes and servants. Many of these children are homeless and many others are forced to do difficult and dangerous jobs without proper protection. They do not get a chance to go to school. But these children need not lose hope. There are many people who work day and night to give these children a good life. One such person was Ripon Kapoor. Even as a little boy, Ripon held reading and writing classes for the poor children, visited them in hospitals and started a dispensary in a slum. Later he was joined by six friends and together they started an organization called Child Relief and You. Its acronym is CRY. Their first office was Ripon's dining table at his home. CRY collects money to help poor children get education and medical help. You must have seen Cry greeting cards during festival seasons. Designing and selling cards is one of the many activities undertaken by Cry to generate money. Now Cry has become a big organization, helping thousands of children lead a good life. Unfortunately, Ripon Kapoor died of cancer in 1994 at the age of 40, but his colleagues carry on the mission.